Hi guys, welcome to lesson four of our soldering course for guitarists and I hope you're enjoying the series. I've put some links up above to previous lessons on tinning, equipment and also in the last lesson, lesson three, we had a look at soldering to a potentiometer. What we're going to look at today is soldering to a switch and this is a Fender style switch so like that you'd find in a Telecaster or Stratocaster and we're going to solder to the lugs of a switch. Okay, I'm going to show you two ways of doing it and um, basically whenever I show this online um, on Instagram and things like that if I do it one way uh, I get people saying oh you want to do it the other way and if I then do it that way then I get people going oh no no, no you want to do it that way so basically uh, the crux of the matter is when you're soldering to this little tab you've got a little bit of a choice you can either just go straight in like this and solder it like that or you can make a little bit of a hook and I suppose the reason why some people don't like the hook is because it is making it more difficult to remove later. But I'll show you both ways because obviously there's a school of thought that if you do the hook you've got a better mechanical connection, um, which is fantastic. But it, it can be a little overkill because the solder will be enough to hold it in place anyway. So if you're doing something which you feel you may want to undo later, then perhaps do it without the hook. Okay, so I'm going to show you the straight in method first. And this is most likely to be, let's say, the hot connection from a pickup to a switch that you're most likely to be doing. And what I'm going to come along and do is actually, let's solder the wire first. Okay, so I'm just going to get a little bit of, sorry, I mean tin. And I'm just going to tin the end of the wire like that. Okay, and then I'm going to come along and tin the tab. Again, I'm going to tin the tab at the very top and let it flow down to fill the tab. If I do it from the bottom it's likely to drip down so there you are that's nice and full and then we'll come along and just reheat the tab while sliding that in not too far in just a little bit and this great hookup wire that I'm using this um, cloth covered hookup wire look at that it just tucks up to the joint so it's really nice and tidy. I'm just going to desolder that so we can see the uh, the next one in a bit more detail otherwise this is likely to get in the way okay so the next one here is this little tab here and I'm going to use the hook around method and um, those of you who've upgraded pickups on guitars will see sometimes it's not just a hook around it's like a full-on they've gone around like this and sometimes even like that which I think that is really making it hard for people to remove something later I mean I can barely Whoop. I can barely remove that now. So what I'll do is I'm just going to do a simple hook. I'm not going to pre-tin because it's a, things become very rigid once they've been tinned. But look at that. That's a, like a little hook. And I'll come along and tin the tab and the ooh, and the wire at the same time. Okay. So I'm holding that. Now I'm just going to start tinning and filling up the tab and also touching, adding solder, and there I've tinned both the tab and the hookup wire that I'm putting in at the same time. We've got a lovely clean joint. And then I can trim off the excess. Now that is going absolutely nowhere. So it's a really successful connection, which should be there for, you know, decades, absolutely decades. So yeah, that is lesson four, solder into the lug. Uh, in, in future lessons, I will look at how to do two wires in one leg at the same time because that does come up and it's very, very tricky. But I'll see you in lesson five. Hope you're enjoying it.